Howdy, welcome, good day to you. Today we are unboxing and flipping through the Haunted House Tarot. Actually, no, I said that wrong. It's Tarot of, of Haunted House? That can't be right. Is it really? Tarot of Haunted, it's not Tarot of the Haunted House? Oh, that's hilarious. I just realized that. What? Okay, that's fine. I'm looking at the box, actually, while I'm recording this. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, apparently it's... Today we're unboxing uh, Tarot of Haunted House by Mo Scarabeo. Scarabeo? I don't know. I do really love... Uh, it's gotta be in Scarab, right? Is it? I don't know what language that's in, but... I have several decks from Mo Scarabeo, and I've never been disappointed by them. I really like what they're putting out there. I should look them up and get some background so I can actually sound halfway intelligible when I make these videos. <laughs> You came here for quality content and you're getting it. Anyways, this deck, I didn't pay a whole lot for this one. I'm actually like, for the price and how much joy it brings me, very pleased. Uh, it doesn't have a fun box. I don't like when they're in these stupid um, card cases like this, like a playing deck of cards. I prefer a box. I would have paid more for a box, but I, I didn't find a version like that. <clears throat> Anyways, still really high quality cards themselves. Um, they are, I'd say they're the exact same. The cardstock itself is extremely, and the ink, it's the same as the other decks from Los Garbito. And they are not a high gloss, but they are glossy. But they're not so slick that they fly around. They're, like, perfect. And they're not too reflective that when you're filming, they're not annoying. If you do that. Either way, they're, this is a great deck. I really like this deck. The book is pretty cool too. Um, just has this little paper flip through thing. So I, I don't know if we can actually call it a book, <laughs> but it's in so many languages. So it's already tiny. And then the parts that are English that I can read, there's not a whole lot to it. And I like that the explanations are short and sweet. Like they're very, I like the way, I like the author. That's the word, oh my gosh. Brain is like shorting out. <clears throat> I really like the author. Uh, I think their interpretations of the cards are just really cool. Uh, for example, the magician, the butler holds the key. He is the trickster of the house with one hand in the unseen. Nothing escapes his watchful eyes. Skill, power, talent, precision, ambition, and mastery. So, I mean, they give you like a bunch of one word explanations, but a really cute little sentence before it very impressed with the uh with the book i like that i like short and simple but very descriptive uh it's a beautiful deck the artwork's incredible um yeah this is uh, another one though i think last week i did uh heaven and earth tarot flip through and this is another one that's not got any diversity um i didn't actually read any reviews on this one i wanted curious what other people wrote about it because that's usually one point that people bring up as a huge negative when they're not like this is mostly white people <laughs> and ghosts it's either like white people or dead people or skeletons <laughs> this is a dark deck this is see you got like a vampire right there um not for beginners i wouldn't say because see if you don't know your roman numerals you're gonna struggle also the major arcana arcana does not have uh words like it doesn't say this is the empress this is the sun this is i mean you literally get roman numerals and you can look it up in the book but if you're new to tarot you're not gonna know also the minor arcana um not too hard though i mean as you can see on the bottom there it's got the number plus the uh what do you call it the Oh my gosh, so professional today. Anyways, you know the cups, the swords, the pentacles, and the wands. It's got the symbols, so I mean, you can you can pretty much like quickly tell the minor arcana, but the major arcana is a little bit harder. This one you're going to have to kind of just go off of like interpretations of the artwork, <laughs> sort of. I really like the, the ideas behind the pictures in these. Um, got a lot of like angels and a lot. Of, oh, that's the red rum card right there. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Ew. The shining card. 
This is a good one though. If you're into dark stuff, and I totally am, I love this one. Um, it's got like some angels in there too though, which makes me really happy because I don't like just dark. I like, I like it all. I like everything in between, so I don't believe everything's either airy fairy or dark and gloomy. I think I believe in balance, I guess. <laughs> so can't have light without dark and vice versa, so. But yeah, I do like the, uh, uh which, uh, what is it? The, uh, yeah, there we got a Ouija board. I think, like, some people are going to have problems with this deck. If you don't like the darker occult stuff, this one's not for you. <laughs> uh, and a lot of fire. The fire in this deck is so cool. The flames, it's got fire all over it. Really pretty. But again, there's some pretty dark imagery going on. Oh, I never even noticed that card. Man, I've been using this for a while, and I never even noticed that carousel card. I gotta look that up. What are we on? Wands? Ooh, I'm gonna look closer at that one. That's gorgeous. That carousel horse? I'm obsessed with carousels. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's funny. If you're a tarot reader, how many times have you gone through your deck after, like, your initial flip through, and then used the deck 400 times and still had a card that never popped out, and you're like, whoa, is that in that? Is that in this deck? <laughs> I have so many of those. It happens all the time. I think the Light Seers Tarot, I still, almost every card in there that I pull, I'm like, oh, I've never got this. Because I get the same three or four every time when I'm doing it for myself. When I do it for other people, I'm like, where did that card come from? I don't think that's part of this deck. <laughs> it's so funny. And that's how you know it's halfway accurate, right? If you pull the same five cards for yourself every single time. Pretty funny. Uh, here we go. I think this is my initial. Every time I do these flip throughs, I like to show the flexibility of the, the cards. Um, this one's pretty good. It's it's not insanely tall. Um, these are more like uh, tall and skinny cards. Um, they are I'm trying to say. I don't know. You can shuffle them really easily in any type of shuffling, basically. And this is the initial shuffle. Got my big claws on, so of course I'm going to struggle a little bit, but cards didn't stick together. Again, Los Scarabio, um, their publishing is, like, amazing. I don't know what card stock they're using. I wish this one had a pretty box, but other than that, really high quality cards. Every deck I have from them, they use great ink. The cards themselves hold up. They shuffle. They bend just right. They're not too thin that they're going to, like... Um, I have some decks that... Sadly, I mean, I'm rough. Like, I'm really rough. <laughs> I have a couple that I have bent the cards and now they have a stupid crease in them. So, never had that problem with these. These are perfect. Really quality deck and pretty well priced. But it is on the darker end, so maybe not for everybody on this one. But I highly recommend. I think this is a beautiful deck and it's been really surprising. A lot of the cards are like, ooh, that's, that's a cool picture interpretation of the meaning. So... <clears throat> I like this one. I suggest when people buy their tarot, if you just connect with it out the gate, you're gonna love it. So I don't know. Don't blindly, don't blindly buy your tarot. <laughs> you need to, you need to connect with it somehow. So, anyways, um, thank you so much for spending time with me today, and I do wish you the most beautiful week. Uh, if you're into tarot, this is a great deck. I'd say go for it. Oh, what do we have here? Hold on. Would you know it? I'm the one reader that hates doing love readings, and that's always what pops out. So <laughs> this is a little mini love read right there. We got the Ace of Cups, we got the Lovers, and we got the Fools. So a new start in love for you. Uh, I think that was the last videos too. Why does love always come up? I hate doing love readings <laughs> anyways. I'm so I'm married, like very married. So for me, I'm not interested in hearing about that for other people. <laughs> such a terrible person I know I wish you lots of love anyways I think we should all just love ourselves more and then love will come so people focus too much on trying to find love and force it just let it be let it be anyways as always do something nice for yourself do something nice for somebody else and please drink plenty of water drink more water appreciate you have a beautiful beautiful day bye bye